Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and I post videos all about beauty, lifestyle, luxury. So if that type of stuff interests you, then definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And in today's video, I have a very exciting unboxing for you. I'm going to be unboxing this beauty, showing you everything that fits inside. I also have a bit of a story time about my experience at Louis this time, and I will show you some mod shots so you can get a feel for how it looks on me, in case you were wondering how it looks when you're trying to make your decision. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. All right, so first we obviously have to start with the unboxing so we can get into the other stuff. It came very beautifully packaged in the orange box and the ribbon. I did go in store to make this purchase and I felt so bad for my essay because I took forever trying to decide. And you know what was funny is I was in the store for probably about an hour and after like 30 minutes of me like debating back and forth on what I wanted to get, this showed up at the store so they didn't have it when i first got there and then as i was there trying to decide because they could have ordered it for me online and they would have just shipped it to me but i wanted i was just trying to make a choice you know and then right as we're looking at different bags this shows up and i was like oh my god it's like meant to be i still took a little bit to decide but i finally did make a decision so this is technically a wish list item bag for me if you saw my luxury wish list for 2020 which i will go ahead and throw up in the cards and link below i did want this style of bag but the print that i got it in and the leather that i got it in this whole combo is limited so this will not always be around the essay didn't know for how long but it definitely is going to be a limited collection so anyway you're probably dying to know what is in this bag but it does come with a dust bag and you always store your bags in the dust bags when you're not using them just to make sure they stay protected from dust and just anything that may be in your house you know it's good to have it protected just in case so the beautiful item that i picked up is the louis vuitton felici in the emprunt leather in the new bi color monogram print now if you saw my wish list video i did say that i wanted this bag in the damier azure and i had also said i would want it in the emprunt leather in this kind of color i believe they call it like turtle dove it's like this taupey tan color so when they when i saw this came out i was like this is beautiful honestly i mean i just couldn't resist you know i almost went with the azure when i was in the store even after grabbing this one because i just love the way that one looks too but ultimately i had decided on this one because one i don't have any full leather emprunt leather pieces from louis vuitton so i really wanted to try something different and the damier azure is always there so i can just go and get that one another time if i choose to which i definitely think down the road i would probably get it in the azure because i still love it but yes this is the bi-color emprunt leather i'm going to read you some of the details about it it is the tortorelle tortorelle gray monogram emprunt leather and it is decorated with a monogram print in a cream color now in case you are wondering like i was i had wondered if maybe this was like a painted on color and i asked multiple people so i live chatted on the louis vuitton website to ask them about that and i also asked the essay while i was there and he said no it is not painted on you don't have to worry about like the color peeling off so that was a huge peace of mind for me and this retails for $1,530 before tax. I know that is pretty steep for a small bag. However, this is all leather. If you do want it in the Azure or like a canvas leather, it is only $1,130. So honestly, for a wallet on a chain, that's not too bad. The wallet on a chain I really want from Chanel is $2,500 and that's all leather. So you're basically paying another $1,000 at Chanel to get a very similar bag, you know, compared to this one because this is all leather as well. Another reason I really liked this style was that there's not as many embossings, I feel like, as on like the um, regular emprunt leather version of this. You know, there's more, I feel like since the embossings are bigger, there's not as many, so you don't have to worry about the fading as much. Now that is something I am concerned with that over time these will start to fade away, but you know, the essay was saying that since for one, it's not gonna be my everyday carry, and for two, it would be years and years of use before you would really see any kind of fading. 
So anyway, the Felici bag, in case you aren't familiar, it does come with two inserts. Now, when, when it has the inserts in it, it does hold, you know, it doesn't hold very much. The inserts take up most of the space. I am gonna show you what fits with and without. We will pan into that in a little bit. I just wanna get everything open for you. So it does come with two inserts, and it comes with one that holds eight credit cards as well as cash. And this insert is all leather as well, and it's in the same color scheme. It is not embossed or anything, it is just a plain leather. And then it also comes with a zippered pouch. Now this one is embossed in the same detailing that the bag has. Now I believe they're all like this. So if you were to get the Azure, you would get the full leather card holder, and then the pouch would be the Azure canvas as well. So. Personally, I believe I will be selling these. I already have submitted a quote to Fashion File. I did obviously open this before this video because I wanted to just really look at it and make sure I really loved it. But I did submit a quote to them and I do plan on probably selling these only because I just don't really need this kind of card holder. I have my Chanel card holder. I have my Louis Vuitton key pouches that I use as a card holder. So I just don't think I will really utilize this as much. To me, this is not I don't know, it's just, I'd rather use my Chanel card holder over this, but if you are somebody that truly just wants to use this as it comes, this is great because you can fit at least eight cards if you're not doubling it up. You can fit your cash and you could probably fit like a few things in this too, and then you're good to go and everything is organized inside the bag. So it is definitely a very nice option to be able to have these be removable because you know even if you did keep them, you don't have to use them every single time or you could just use one at a time. So there's definitely a lot of versatility with this bag whereas other wallet on chains, typically the card slots and the zippered compartments are all part of the bag. And this also does come with a nice gold chain. I don't have it on right now because it just makes a lot of noise when I'm trying to show you things but it does have like the lobster claw clasp and it hooks right on to these little D-rings on the side. Now, I will say that some people do um, shorten their chain by twisting it underneath and having it come out the sides. I personally will not be doing that because I feel like the chain will rub against the leather here and cause unnecessary wear. And honestly, I try to do everything they say and wear the bag how it's intended because if there's ever a quality issue at some point, you know, I feel like they're more willing to help. But if they were to see, you know, some signs of wear that wouldn't happen if you didn't do your own modifications, they might not be so lenient and willing to help. Um, so yeah, I don't plan on wearing this in any particular way other than how it is intended to. But you do have that option, you know, you can clip it on twist it underneath and close it and then it would be a shorter bag. So let me now, let's jump into what fits, then we will get into the mod shots and then I will also kind of tell you my story. I had a pretty bad experience with one essay and also I noticed some pretty atrocious quality pieces so I definitely want to tell you guys about that too later in the video. So let me go ahead and switch the angle and we're going to go over what fits and how I intend to stuff the bag. All right, so I hope you guys can see well. I apologize if the angle is not the best. I just really wanna be able to show you everything that fits inside of the bag. So I have the two inserts that it comes with. I have my Victorine wallet. I have my two key clays. I do currently have to have my keys off of the ring because my six key holder is currently being sent off for repair. So I don't have that to show you how it fits in at the moment, unfortunately. But I also have my Chanel card holder, which is what I typically have been using lately. So first, let's go ahead and show you what fits in with the inserts. So as you can see with the inserts, there is not a ton of room. There is also a slip pocket back here, just so you're aware. I don't really intend to use it, but let's see if the phone fits. Okay, that's good actually. I have the iPhone 11 Pro, not the Max, just the Pro, and it does fit comfortably inside of the bag, and the bag will still close up nicely, and no bulging. I, of course, don't want the bag to have any unnecessary stress because I really don't want to wear the leather out, and I don't want to put any stress on the bag. So, with the phone in there, let's see if I could fit my key pouch, which I do currently have my keys in. So, I could fit it down in there horizontally. Let's see if it closes. The bag does close and it's not really, I'm trying to show you, 
It's not really unnecessarily bulging out, but this is pretty much the limit with the inserts. Now, I probably could also fit a little lip gloss down in there, which let me go ahead and actually grab a lip product so we can see how that fits. All right, I grabbed a couple other items just to test. I have this little travel Advil bottle. I am prone to headaches, so I pretty much always have to have Advil in my bag. And I grab this mini Pat McGrath lip gloss and then this Bath and Body Works hand cream. So let's see with what we have in it so far, which is the key pouch, the two inserts, and my phone. We can slide the lip gloss down on the side and I could probably slide, no. So look, I put in the lip gloss on the one side and now I put in the Advil. As you can see, the bag is being stretched out so that is not going to work that way but I probably could just set it right on top. Let's see. Nope, I can't set it on top with these inserts in there. So really the only thing extra I can go ahead and add is the lip gloss down on this side and that still closes up. So we're good there. Now let's go ahead and see what we can fit without the inserts because like I said, I probably don't plan on keeping the inserts so let's see how I would use this normally. So without the inserts, that is what you have space wise. So we're gonna go ahead and put my phone in there back in that slip pocket, which to be honest with you, I don't think I really wanna put my phone back there just because it kind of stretches out the pocket. So let's go ahead and just stick it in without the phone being in the pocket. Then I have my cards in here. I can fit that down sideways and I have my keys in here. And then my key fob does not fit in the pouch. I mean, it probably could, but it kind of stretches it. So let's just set that right on top. Then I could probably fit the Advil right on top and I could fit the lip gloss right on top. The hand cream is not really gonna go. And let's see if it all closes up. It does close up nicely and no unnecessary bulging. It looks good. So we're good there. Now let's play around with some other options. All right, so let's see with the phone, which typically I hold my phone, so I don't really need to have it in there, but I do wanna know that it can fit because sometimes you do wanna be hands-free without your phone. So here's my Victorine wallet. I'm very curious to see how this will fit. Okay, so with the phone, as you can see, it kind of is bulging out. However, let's see how it is without the phone. Without the phone, you definitely could fit it. It's not bulging too much, and once you close it up, it's fine. The wallet is on this side, so as you can see, it's not bulging out, so that's fine. But I wouldn't be able to fit my phone in. So now with it this way with the wallet, I could fit the lip gloss, the Advil, my car key. This hand cream is a little bit too tall, so it's not really gonna fit well. And I probably could fit one of my, no. So that is pretty much the extent of what fits with the wallet. I could probably fit a couple small things like maybe a blotting sheet pack or a pack of gum maybe, um, you could fit that. But I typically wouldn't use this bag with a full wallet. However, I do like knowing that I can fit my full wallet in here. So that is actually really good to know. So now, how I will typically use this bag is using my Chanel card holder. I probably would just go ahead and lay it down sideways. Let's go ahead and put my phone in there. We'll put the Advil, lip gloss, key fob. So let me go ahead and show you that. So there it is with the card holder, the lip gloss, the Advil, the key fob, and my phone and it does close up. Now on the side where I have the, um, my like lip gloss and all that, it does stick out a tiny bit compared to the side with just the card holder. So as you can see, a lot of things can fit in this bag. It's just all about what pieces you are using and how you're stuffing it. You know, like I mentioned, for me, I don't intend to overstuff the bag, so I will just fit the essentials. So really, for me, this bag does hold everything I would need it to as far as like a nice evening bag or running errands, not if I need to bring like my computer around, obviously, or if I need to bring around my toiletry pouch. You have to just be selective on what you're bringing. All right, so now that we saw what fits, let's go ahead and jump over to some modeling shots. For reference, I am five foot two, so that is, keep that in mind in case you are a similar size. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some shots of me wearing the bag on the shoulder and crossbody. Now, I have seen some people 
wear this like around the waist if they like do some things with the chain, but I believe this is honestly truly meant to be carried either on the shoulder or crossbody or even like as a clutch. I personally will never carry it as a clutch because I hate having to hold my bag. So I will always wear it on the chain. So let's go ahead and jump into the mod shots. As you can see from the clips, it does sit below my hips when I have it on the shoulder and then it pretty much sits right at my hip when I have it cross body. Now I do want to note that this is a lighter bag, so you do have to worry about color transfer. You know, the essay was saying that with any lighter bag, leather, canvas, you do have to worry about like denim rubbing off on it. And I do wear a lot of jeans, however, you know, you just have to be mindful and he was saying that if you you know, if you're wearing it like on the hip more, you know, it's more a lot more friction, which a lot of times with my crossbody bags, I will pull them to the front anyway. That way I have like a better grip on it, you know? But of course, you know, you just wanna make sure you're mindful and take care of your bags. Or if you really don't care about color transfer, then just have at it and do whatever you want. But for me, I do like to keep my bags as beautiful as possible just because I love them. They're like children to me. I love my bags. So, but of course I don't like baby them to the extreme, you know, I still wear them and after the newness wears off, you know, you kind of start to be a little bit more lenient, but with a lighter bag like this, since this is my first light bag, I do intend to just be careful and I don't think I will really have much issue with color transfer since I won't be wearing this every single day. And when I go out, I try not to wear jeans as much. I mean, of course I do still wear jeans if I go out, not that I'm going anywhere right now because of the pandemic but when I do you know I'll probably this would look really cute with like t-shirt dresses or I have like the um you know some like uh, fabric pants that this would look really cute with so maybe in the future I will go ahead and do like an outfit lookbook with this bag you guys will have to let me know in the comments if that is something you would want to see with this bag and see how I would pair it to be honest with you this outfit actually I think it looks really cute with I'm just wearing like a beige shirt and Lululemon black leggings but I actually think it looks super cute it's like kind of a casual way to wear this bag but on the same token I believe you could wear this with dresses and you know you can wear this and dress it up so that's what I really truly love about this bag I love the shape of it I love the structure of it I think it's beautiful and I'm so happy to finally own it now, if you made it this far, then you will hear my story time about my experience at Louis the day I went to get this. So I have a couple stores that are near me all within about like 30 minutes. So I had decided to go to a location that I had never been to before because I was like, what the heck, let me go to a different location, see a new store. I always go to the same store. Well, I will never go back to this store again because honestly, the sales associate really just kind of took me as like I was not important to her. You know, I was talking about wanting this bag. I came in knowing what I wanted. It's not even like I was like looking at all these bags and just wasting her time. I came in with the intent of getting something you know and then she told me she's like oh i just sold it and it was very just kind of hasty you know and i was like well you know can it be ordered if so and they had the on the go tote in this print so i was like can i at least see that and then see the felici in another style just so i can get a feel for the bag so she did that but honestly she just truly did not want to help me out and what's funny is that you know she had looked to see if any other store had it and there was one store actually the two stores the other two stores near me they did have them and she's like oh you can go there or they can order it for you online there and i'm thinking why wouldn't you want to just try to order it for me here you know it's like she really truly just did not want my sale so i even if she wanted to like order it for me i didn't want to give her the business so i actually went to a different store and i was like you know what even if they don't have the bag there because it is a new item and I don't think they're getting very many in at a time. I was like, even if they don't have it, if I have a better experience, I will just order it with a different SA, you know? So I went to a different store. I went to my usual store and I had a great experience. The guy that helped me 
was so nice. He was so patient. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I was literally in there for probably at least an hour. And you know, he even said, he's like, I totally understand. He's like, this isn't a target purchase. This is a bigger purchase and you want to be happy with what you're getting. And he was so nice. He gave me two perfume samples. And now of course I want another perfume, even though I just got California dream. Uh, anyway, so he, you know, it was funny cause I was in there at first and I was looking at this bag. I was looking at it in the regular on prawn like turtle dove i believe it's like basically the same color it's just the regular monogram there's no cream color and let me tell you i was looking at that bag and i was shocked shocked at how bad the quality was on it so on the other one that i was looking at not this print like i said all along the edge here it was like bulging out like you could tell that it was not sewn together right and it was just, I couldn't believe that they were actually trying to sell that bag because it was so obvious that it was not this clean line. It was like bulging out. The sewing was not done well. I was shocked. So, you know, I, cause that was a bag, that color, the turtle dove color is like kind of, it was on my wish list until this came out. So even if I didn't get this one, there's no way I was gonna go home with that bag that they had showed me just because the quality was so bad. So, you know, I personally have not had any issues with Louis Vuitton quality, but after seeing that, that definitely solidifies the fact that you need to inspect your bags just to make sure things are good. And another thing I had seen was, so since they didn't have this one at the beginning of my visit, I was looking at a wallet they had in this print and again there was like quality issues. I had noticed that some of the stitching, like there was one section of stitching where the stitch was like a different color almost. It looked darker than the rest of the stitching. So I was pretty surprised by that too because usually the stitching is all very consecutive and it's all very much the same. You know, they're not using different color threads but it just looked off and I was really surprised by that, you know, to see two items that kind of were subpar quality. And one thing I did want to mention about this really quick is that I had noticed on this bag back in one of the cream colored details, I don't know if you'll really be able to tell, it's very minor, I noticed some markings and I had asked him, I said, you know, is this normal of this bag? And he said that yes, with the Empreinte leather in general, you know, the nature of the leather, you're going to see some, like, it's not even an imperfection, it's just some little, you know, it is kind of like an imperfection, but it's not, you know, it's not something to be concerned about. And I was adamant on this, like I asked it, you know, different ways kind of to make sure that he wasn't like fibbing to me, which like I said, he was very nice and I don't think that's what he was trying to do. He wasn't pressuring me to buy anything, which I love that. I hate when I go in and I feel pressured to just walk out with something, but he was not doing that. And he said that, you know, if you really are looking so close at the bag, you're gonna see some of these things just because of the nature of the leather. And he said, if you're looking for perfection, you know, this is not the type of material that you wanna go for just because, you know, you're gonna see some of these minor things. But I really only have that one spot that you can like kind of see something seems like, I don't even know how to explain it and it's very minor, but I just wanted to throw that out there. So if you do get this bag and you notice something like that, my essay personally did tell me that it is normal. If you heard otherwise, definitely let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that it's all normal. So overall, I'm really happy I went to my usual store. I definitely won't be going to the other store that I had went to. And it's kind of a shame because really the customer service, especially for luxury, makes a big difference. You know, if I'm spending $1,500 or whatever, I want good service. I want somebody that feels like they care about me, you know? So, you know, customer service can really make or break a store and I will probably definitely never go back to that other store unless there's like maybe the last one of something and I just have to have it now and I can't get it at my store, then maybe I'd go there. But otherwise I don't, I don't think I'll really be going back. I won't really be going back there just because of that poor experience. You know, like I said, the guy that helped me at my usual store, he literally spent like probably over an hour with me going back and forth, talking about the pieces and you know, she barely didn't at the other store, she barely wanted to give me five minutes of her time. So the experience of your essay definitely makes a big difference. And I know for sure now when I wanna go buy something else, I'm gonna try to buy from him and plan it on a day when he's there, just because he was so pleasant to me, you know, and I would wanna give him the business. So anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed 
seeing what it fit in it and seeing the unboxing and hearing my story. If you made it this far, go ahead and leave me a comment of an emoji. I would love to know if you've made it to this point, so go ahead and leave some kind of emoji in the comments. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe, and that is all I have to say for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.